it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to create my summer bucket list and I'm going to do the, I'm going to use one of the Happy Planner page protectors that came from their memory keeping line. I've had these for quite some time and on the, um, I saw on the Happy Planners live yesterday that they are going to release a new memory keeping line, which I'm so excited. So the, the preview is going to be live on their website. Uh, Tuesday and then the products will be available to buy on Thursday so and I'll put more information in the description box about the times and everything but these different sizes of these let me grab the others they come in assorted sizes and shapes and everything but I love to use this one that has the little 12 squares and they're they're two by two is the dimensions so I have some little just white cardstock cut into into squares and what I like to do when I do this is create a different summer bucket list item on each card and put them in the little slots. And then when I complete the item on the back, I'll do take a little picture of it and put the picture so it goes great in my memory planner or you can just keep it in your regular planner. It's just a really cute way for, to memory keep that's super easy. So I have one, I have my fall bucket list from last year that I got out of my memory planner. So this is kind of what what it's going to look like and then I didn't actually do all my items but I am committed to do every single item on my list but see I printed a little picture of each item and I also want to make a little title card like this that says summer bucket list so actually I'll only have 11 items on my list. The first thing I want to do is make my title card that says summer bucket list and I am going to use the word summer from this wrong wrong this seasonal book. I think I will trim off the hello off of it. I want to leave room to put a little sunshine at the top. I have a lot of little sticker books pulled over here to the side that I know I'm going to probably need. So I've got over in this kid life summer is for fun I've got um, some cute little Sun stickers so I'm going to use one of these right here and just trim off that little bit of extra at the top and then I'm just gonna write bucket list I wonder if I could fit some shades on there too. Maybe if I scoot the sun over. Yeah, that'll work. And I'll just put these little sunglasses there. So there's my little title card. And I'll just put like a little quote sticker on the back or something where the pictures are gonna go. I just found this when I was looking for something else. I'm going to put this on the back of the summer bucket list card. So I could do summer vibes or summer memories. I kind of like summer vibes. And I'll decorate that with stickers. So I'm going to look through here and see what I have in the summer sticker book. I think the beach ball is super cute. And let's do the watermelon and some of the sunglasses. Just do these little music notes with the sparkles. That looks cute. 
All right, so there's the title card and then the back. Let's go on to the next item. So I think first I'm gonna add this sticker that I wanna add, and I may end up coming back and adding some stickers. That's usually what happens after I see kind of how much space is left over and everything. So I've got essential planning, and for go on a road trip, I'm gonna use one of these little cars. I think I like the pink one. I'm gonna take off the part that says explore though. Okay, so I'm gonna put it just right here in the center at the bottom. And I also have the little petite sticker sheets called Go Your Own Way. I got this at Hobby Lobby. But on this one, I thought I would use one of these. It looks like a little map. watch a fireworks show. I saw a lot of little stars in here. Like I said, I did consolidate. I had a little five sheet pack of seasonal stickers and I kind of took them apart and put them in each seasonal book that I have. I think I'll use these stick, all of these stars at the top for the fireworks. Or I could just use this. What do we think about this? Watch the fireworks. Okay, and then I have in this little seasonal petite sticker book, there are some little red, white, and or silver, blue, and red stars. So I think I'll do, I'll just put a few of this silver and the blue. Since there's no red in there, that's more like a pink and an orange. Might as well go ahead and do a couple more all the way around it. Okay, one more. I'll do that one there and then I'm going to just do part of that one there and use the rest of it over here on the side. Okay, so that's my fireworks one. Now next what I've got make smoothies. For that one, I grabbed the food sticker book because there's some little cups here. I think that could be cute. Did 
They look kind of summery. They're like a red and white stripe. And then I was going to do some berries also. So I've got, oh, these are cute. Few little strawberries there. How about a banana also? Okay, and let's do a couple more strawberries up in this corner. pretty cute. Do I need one more strawberry or some other kind of fruit? I think I'll just do another couple of strawberries right up here. And then where I cut that one off, I'll just put that right there because I don't need a lot of room to write, make smoothies. Okay, maybe I want one more banana to fill in that little spot there. If I have one, do I have another banana? Or I could do a couple of kiwi. Alright, that's good. Alright, so make smoothies. All right, another one I have on my list is to blow bubbles outside. I think that's always fun. So let me grab, the only one I know where I have bubbles is in the Joanne Mega Book. Because there's that page, I've used it before. I hope I didn't use all of them, but they're like mermaids. Right here, I think I still have enough. Oh yeah, I've got plenty. So I will do I'm gonna, for this one, since the stickers aren't very big, I'm going to go ahead and write my item. Okay, it's not perfectly centered, but it'll be okay. And I'll just put the little bubbles all around it. Just enough. Trim these apart. Let's see. I'll put those there and this bigger set down at the bottom.
think also I'm going to put a sun on this one just because it needs a little something extra. So I found also in the Joanne Megabook these little bitty sun stickers. I'll just scoot this one over a little and have the sun in the corner. That's pretty cute. Okay, that worked out all right. So I've got four. Now let's see what else. I want to definitely have a beach day. Okay, for that one, I think I'll use a little sandcastle sticker here. And then one of these little beach balls. I'm going to have it sort of bouncing in the picture like that. And I have this little Beach Vibes pack that I've had for a long time. I think there are some little starfish or something in here. Okay, here are some little starfish. Let's do these. And let's do this orange one. And then the green one. And that'll be enough for the beach. Okay. And also, I want to have a pool day. It's always fun to hang out in the pool when it's so hot during the summer. And I saw something here in the summer sticker book. This one that says make some waves, I think I'm going to trim it and just use it for the water. And just put a little bit more. But I want it to look sort of wavy like water, so I'm just going to go through with this Fiskars detail knife and just kind of do a little wavy back and forth cut. All right, and I want to get one of those little floats. Like one of these little flamingos, this would be cute. but I want them to be sitting in the water. I found in the Squad Petite sticker pack, there's a little a bathing suit. Look how cute. Okay, and then I can just write in that space there. pool day. Also, I want to use just the water from these water guns. 
that look like splashing. Like onto the page. one over here and we could do some little sunglasses like these yellow ones okay so that's the pool day so I have let's see I've got six so I need five more So the next one I want to do is have a backyard barbecue and for that one I pulled out in the summer sticker book I've got a little grill I think I'm not sure where this came from it might have come from the OG seasonal one but let's see I'm gonna put it over here and Go ahead and write it so I know how much room I have left because I'm going to also add some food items. Okay, and then I also have the food sticker book because I want to add some like hot dog or hamburger. So here is, let's see, let me do the hamburger first. Let's do the hamburger sticker here. And then I've got a hot dog here. pretty cute and I'd like some little sprigs of grass at the bottom so I've got squad life here to represent like the backyard aspect of it and I'm going to just use some of these it's kind of bothering me how big these food items are in relation to how big the grill is so I know there's some little like hot dogs on a little skewer or something right here I think I might use that instead what do we think I'm gonna go ahead and take these up so I'm gonna use one of these let me also look in the smaller like the petite food sticker book and see if there are burgers in there I think there are this one says good enough to eat. Let's see, I'm gonna put that there and put one of these smaller burgers over here. And then just to fill in a little bit at the top, I think I want another one of those little hot dogs. Okay, so that's that one. And something I definitely wanna do this summer is eat some watermelon. So I think I'll write this first and then just do little watermelon stickers all the way around it. That should be easy.
Okay, and I'm going to grab the food sticker book for the watermelon. Okay, here we go. I like that there's a couple of different shapes. Just scatter these around. That should do it for eat watermelon. And next, I also want to eat dinner outside. For this one, I want to put the sticker on first because it's a little bit of a larger sticker. It's here in Essential Planning, and it's these little, this little plate and silverware. It says dinner with friends, but I want to take that part off. Just go ahead and write have dinner outside. And y'all can feel free to fast forward through these. This is hard for me to talk and think about what I'm spelling and how I want to write it and everything. I want to add something else to this. So I've got farmhouse in the petite sticker books. These are perfect for something like this. Maybe just some greenery so it looks like trees or grass or something. I just feel like it needs a little something else. And I know I've done a lot of sunshine stickers, so I don't want to have one on just about every one. I'll just go ahead and add what I have left of these little scraps on the corners. That's good. And now all I have left is read a summer novel. And for that one, I have the bookish petite sticker book. So I'm going to go ahead and write this item first.
Okay. And I'm just going to scatter some of these books around. All right. This one right here. I'll put that little scrap up there. And then I also pulled a pair of little reading glasses from that same book, and I'm just going to put them right there. I'm going to do the pink one up toward the top so I can. Use another blue one. So I don't really want to do the black one that's not bright and summery. And I could use these little scraps. Okay, so that is that All right. One. And the last thing I have on my list is to go on a summer vacation, and I'm so excited. We're actually going. We're actually going a week from tomorrow on the 27th. We're gonna fly to Sarasota, Florida, and stay there for a week. So I'm super excited. So I'll be able to check that off this list really soon and add a photo. I'm gonna do my stickers first because I have a couple pulled that I think will be cute in summer and in travel. So for the first one, I want to add a little piece of luggage. And in this one, nope, I want to do an airplane. And there's an airplane in Go Your Own Way, like a small one. One of these. So I think I'll do the pink sort of flying onto the page. And then in travel, there are some little arrows. These, and I want to use one of the, like the dotted line ones, like going to and from. So I'm going to arch that over the page, and then I want to put a palm tree over here that I saw in this book. Okay, I want to add one of these little palm trees. Cute. Right there. I actually think I'm going to do two so it'll stand up taller. So that one will only be partially on the page. That way it'll look like a couple, like a little cluster of palm trees. And then... And then I'll do this one here. Do that one there. And I'm just going to write in that item and then that'll be it. I'll put them in the little page protector and we'll see how it's going to look. Okay, so that's going on a summer vacay. There was one thing I wanted to add to this one. I saw it when I was looking for something else. I know it's pretty full, but I saw some little blueberries that I thought would be so cute sprinkled in there. Like these right here. So I'm just gonna add a few of those and then I'll be able to put these in the little page protector and see how it looks.
one more. Okay, that is that. So let me kind of position them how I want, to, want them to go in the book. So this will be at the top. Let's see, I've got my page here. Summer bucket list here, and it's the one that has a quote on the back so it won't need a picture, but all the others will get a picture of when I'm actually doing the item. All right, and then how about watch the fireworks. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this one over here because it's the probably the least busy of the of all of them. Okay, I have dinner outside. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. So there it is, I love it. I can't wait to start adding, uh, checking some things off my list and adding the photos to the back. It's gonna be so fun to look back on when it's all filled in because I'm gonna do every one of these items this time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember the Happy Planner is coming out with more of these page protectors. It will be, um, they'll be available to preview on their website on this Tuesday the 22nd and then available for purchase on Thursday the 24th of June so and I'll put the times in the description box thank you guys for hanging out with me if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye